Recap in minutes. In today's video, we will be enjoying an action thriller film, entitled The Grey Man. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins with senior CIA official Fitzroy visiting prisoner Cortland Gentry. The latter was incarcerated in 1995 after killing his own father to protect his brother. His father was known to be abusive. Gentry will be eligible for parole in eight years. Fitzroy divulges the very reason why he is paying the prisoner a visit. He wants to offer him freedom, and in exchange, Gentry works for the CIA. He will be trained to become an assassin as part of the Sierra program. His name will be Six. Fitzroy's job is to recruit hardened criminals and give them their freedom from being imprisoned in exchange for a lifelong commitment to the CIA. Eight years later, on a mission in Bangkok, a lady approaches Six and hands him a plastic gun. The gun is equipped with technology that allows him to access a restricted door where his real gun is hidden. He will have a direct vision of the target from the glass floor. For this mission, he is working alongside fellow CIA agent Danny Miranda. The subject will just be two floors up. He receives information directly from the CIA Tactical Operations Center that the target has been spotted. Denny Carmichael, the center chief, informs Six that the target is suspected of selling national security secrets that could compromise the country. He is instructed to eliminate the subject before the transaction is completed. As the subject arrives, Six prepares to execute the task. All he needs to do now is to find the perfect timing and fire at the target. As Six confirms the target, he is given the green light to execute. A child goes closer to the target and starts speaking with him. Six is unable to fire the shot. Carmichael wants him to proceed despite the possible collateral, as they have a tiny window to get rid of the subject. Six refuses to follow the order and pretends that the gun jammed. He then presses the fire alarm button and follows the matter as he is about to leave the area. Six eliminates some of the security guards of the subject. Miranda is also taking care of the other guards. Six is now face to face with the subject. The subject reveals that he is Sierra 4. Hand to hand combat ensues until Six stabs him multiple times. 4 tells that he knows who Six is. He also adds that he was also recruited by Fitzroy. Miranda arrives at the scene. Six is bothered that Four knew his name. He is supposed to be a gray man. No record and no intel to steal. Six receives a call from Carmichael, who asks for an explanation of what happened. Six tells him that his gun jammed. Carmichael is interested to know if Four gave out information to Six before he died. He also wants to know if Six retrieves anything from Four. Six denies that he does. What Carmichael does not know is that Six is in possession of a micro SD card. Curious to see what's inside the data storage, Six goes to an internet cafe to check what the content is. While figuring out the password for a restricted file, Miranda calls him to remind him that they are leaving. Six tells her to go without him. He does not feel secure anymore, and the fact that Four knew his name that's enough to think that he can be eliminated any time. Six calls the person who recruited him and is already out of the CIA, Fitzroy. He lets him know that both of them are in danger. Fitzroy already lives a private life after retiring from the agency. Carmichael is now aware that Six is in possession of very confidential information. Suzanne Brewer, Carmichael's subordinate, asks him what this next move will be. He will be utilizing Lloyd Hansen. An infamous assassin who has an impressive kill count and whose methods are considered sociopathic. He is an ex-CIA agent that's been kicked out of the agency. Hansen is in Monaco torturing someone when he gets a call from Carmichael. His next target will be Six. Carmichael also tells him that Suzanne will be working with him. Since Six is well trained in hiding, they need leverage to lure him out. Knowing that Six is pretty close to Fitzroy, Hansen suggests that they find someone that Fitzroy cares about and then force Fitzroy to give up the location of Six. Six arrives at the extraction site in Chiang Mai, where an extraction team is waiting for him. Miranda receives a call from Carmichael as she is about to depart for Singapore. Carmichael tells her to hop on another plane and meet him in Berlin for a debriefing. He is starting to believe that she knows more than what she's telling him. Once they meet in Berlin, Miranda is then interrogated. Carmichael wants to know if Miranda knew that Six was about to go rogue and blow up the operation. Miranda is persistent that she had no idea what Six plans were. She met him there in Bangkok for the first time. Carmichael adds that Six is the last assassin out there. All the rest have been killed or are back in prison. Fitzroy attends the funeral of his friend when Hansen calls his attention. Knowing that Fitzroy would not cooperate, he made his moves even before coming over. Hansen then shows Fitzroy proof that he has his niece, Claire. 
He keeps Claire hostage in a mansion in Croatia, where he has based his operations. Fitzroy calls the man in charge of picking Six up. He receives an instruction to eliminate Six. Fitzroy and his men then start to move towards Six, who is already aware of what's going on. Using a fire extinguisher, he fights them off. The plane is damaged from the chaos, and Six is forced to abandon the aircraft without a parachute. He is not skydiving without a parachute, but not for long. He notices that one of the men who is trying to kill him is a few yards away. He then moves in his direction and holds on to his parachute until they safely land. Six calls Fitzroy after surviving the assassination. Fitzroy explains that his niece, Claire, is being used as leverage. Hansen then takes over the call and demands Six surrenders the data that is in his possession. Six shows no interest in cooperating. Hansen adds that he has contacted different assault teams to go after Six for a prize. The hunt is on. It's then revealed that Six used to look after Claire after Fitzroy's personal file was leaked in Hong Kong. Claire has been fitted with a pacemaker due to her heart condition. One night, Claire begged for help as she had a hard time breathing. Despite the risk of being exposed, Six took her to the hospital, and she survived. Back in the present, Six arrives in Vienna to find Claire's pacemaker's serial number from Laszlo Sosa. That's his way of tracing where Claire is being held captive. He also needs a fake password to hide his identity. While his photo is taken, Six can sense that something is not correct. Before he can react, the spot that he stands on opens up, and Six is trapped inside. With all the tools available, Six uses them all to find a way to escape. He can't afford to stay down there, knowing that Carmichael is desperate to eliminate him. Sosa informs Hansen that Six has been captured. Hansen then orders the plane to land in Vienna. When the pilot hesitates to land, he shoots him at point-blank range. Hansen's team arrives at Sosa's place. Hansen then kills Sosa before looking for Six. At this point, Six is working his way out. When two men approach the trapdoor, Six triggers the explosive he planted. He then comes out and kills Hansen's men. As Six walks away, Hansen catches up to him, but before he gets to kill Six, Miranda shoots him with a tranquilizer and leaves him on the road. Miranda then takes in Six. She wants to clear her name after being suspended from the field. She asks what prompted Six to steal a file from the CIA. He explains that Four gave an encrypted file to him and, judging how Carmichael is going after him because of that, he knows there's something in the file that can compromise Carmichael and the agency. Hansen's men take Fitzroy to Croatia. Fitzroy is now reunited with Claire. Using one of the CCTVs during the operation in Bangkok, Hansen now knows that Six mailed the file to Prague. Fitzroy must know who the person in Prague that Six trusts. It's just a matter of extracting that information from Fitzroy. Torture then begins to force Fitzroy to give in, but the former CIA officer is too tough to sing. At this point, Miranda is more curious about finding out what's in the encrypted file than taking Six as her leverage to get her job back. Six confides that he sent the file to the UK agency chief, Cahill, in Prague. They are now headed to Prague. Cahill does not expect any visitors today, but someone's buzzing at the door. It's Miranda. Miranda and Six are welcome. Cahill shows them what's inside the encrypted file. It contains pretty strong evidence against Carmichael, who was involved in bombings, torture, and assassination, among others. As it turns out, Carmichael is using the CIA as his personal assassination team. They are in agreement that someone in the upper echelon is behind all this. After Four got a hold of these files, he tried selling them to the highest bidder. That's where Carmichael set up the trap and used Six to get rid of him. Now that they know what's in the file, Miranda and Six need to get out of there as quickly as possible. Cahill gives Six her car keys and the location of the car with everyone that Six needs. Meanwhile, Hansen sends vicious assassins to Cahill's place after finding out her address. Without wasting time, they staff the house of Cahill. As the assassins get in, the terminally ill Cahill blows up her home to give Six and Miranda a chance to escape. Six is held at gunpoint by the local Prague police, but Six manages to escape on a tram after Hansen's assassins fire at them. A long chase and gun battle ensues, and Six is saved by Miranda, using Cahill's bulletproof car. The two then invade a hospital to track down Claire through the wireless signal broadcast from her pacemaker. They now know that she's in Croatia. As soon as they are about to leave the hospital, one of Hansen's men, Lone Wolf, comes into the picture to steal the file from Six. A fight ensues, and Lone Wolf ends up with the file. He then takes the file to Hansen. Six and Miranda follow the pacemaker to Hansen's base. 
Miranda creates a distraction while Six infiltrates the mansion and rescues Fitzroy and Claire. Fitzroy is mortally wounded as they flee and sacrifices himself in a failed attempt to kill Hanson. Miranda knocks out Hanson's men, but Lone Wolf narrowly escapes. He defeats Miranda in a fight but gives her the drive, having become disgusted with Hanson's willingness to kill children and his lack of morals. The movie ends with Claire is taken hostage by Hanson, who drags her into a hedge maze. After a standoff, Hanson lets go of Claire and fights with Six. Before Six can kill him, Hanson is shot and killed by Brewer, who informs Six that she plans to pin Carmichael's actions on Hanson in order to gain leverage over him. Also, Brewer promises Claire's safety but only if Six remains a CIA assassin. Six and Miranda are left with no choice but to cooperate in the cover-up, where ultimately, no action is taken against Carmichael. After the debriefing at the CIA headquarters, Miranda threatens to kill Carmichael if any harm comes to Claire. Six manages to escape custody and freeze Claire, who is being held at an undisclosed location. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and help the channel grow.